All right, you guys, so I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. So let's go. Hello, YouTube. All right. I don't know where like that teacher voice came from, but <laughs> either which way, how are you guys doing? Welcome back, family. All right. So today is a very, very highly, highly requested video. And I hope I'm not over exaggerating that, but I have been asked so many times um, from you guys for me to show you how to tie a twilly, bendo, whatever you want to call it, scarf around your handles. Um, and I actually started doing this because I saw um, a lot of videos and a lot of people do this, you know, especially with like their Hermes bags and everything like that. But, you know, you don't have to just buy a really, really, truly expensive bag to tie a twilly scarf, bandeau, whatever like that around your handles um, because you want to preserve your bag. And that's honestly the best way to do it because, you know, with our hands, we go out or whatever we eat whatever it is our hands are very dirty um, they contract a lot of bacteria dirt you know we have natural oils stuff like that so um, if you don't tie your handbag with a twilly or whatever um, you will see the wear probably sooner than later whereas if you tie um, the twilly you probably won't see the wear for like some time to come or whatever so either which way this video is letting you this video is showing you how to do that and how to preserve your um, bag handles, all right? So either which way, Yancey here. Thank you guys for showing up. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining me. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you have not already subscribed, you might as well. You've seen a few videos already. I'm sure you binged watch a few times and you might as well, all right? So what I'm here to tell you is that my channel is based off just the love of luxury. And like I said, luxury is whatever it is to you. It does not have to be a bajillion dollars before you consider it to be luxury. You understand? So either which way I'm saying that all to say, luxury is what it is and what it means to you, all right? Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. All right. So that's it. So with that being said, we are going to be wrapping the handles on this kitty. And honestly, I've had this bag wrapped in a Louis Vuitton bandeau. <clears throat> My apologies. So I've had this bag itself in the handles wrapped in Louis Vuitton um, bandeaus for so long. Like literally it looks brand new. And that's what I mean. Like, I mean, you barely see any wear. And I've had this bag almost for about like a year or so, whatever like that. So I try to keep it as much as pristine condition as I possibly can. But you can see the tarnishing on the lock, which honestly I really don't like. And I feel like just for the amount of what these bags cost there shouldn't be any tarnishing whatsoever and it's only really just happening with the lock and not like the zipper pull so i don't know maybe i'll go back to um louis vuitton talk about essay and see um because i get all of my stuff from the boutique and maybe they can do something about that or even give me a brand new lock or whatever like that because like i said i don't like that at all i just feel like there should be they should just be better it should, I'm not going to lie. Um, but either which way, you guys, we are going to get into tying a twilly. So I'm going to try to go as slow as I can um, to show you guys what to do. And I've perfected this. Well, let me say I've practiced for so long on how to do this. Um, but every once in a while, I think I have like a little misstep. And when I do, the twilly starts to come unraveled. So I'm saying that all to say, take your time rewind as much as you have to and try to tie the knot as tight as possible because if you don't you can have it start to unravel and then you'll just have it to where it's like loose on um, your handle and that can just become very irritating or whatever so I'm going to switch the camera around so we can show me doing all of this all right all right here we go All right, you guys, here we go. So this is my LV bandeau. And you can see it's a little bit wrinkled because I literally just took it off for you guys so that way I can redo it and kind of show you. So I like the color and I liked the contrast 
of how it was with this so that's why I got this particular one I'm just gonna do the one handle because I think once I do the one handle you can kind of like get the gist of it or whatever and you can just go from there so here's where <laughs> it'll probably not so much difficult but this is where you kind of have to think about your math or whatever and I say that because when you are finished tying the bandeau you really want the end of your um, bandeau to match so you see where you have the end of the handles with these two little details right here the the not details button details um, that I always want to be covered so basically it's going to be sitting like this and that's what helps protect that part of the bag as well and you want them to be even so it all goes with how you wrap the bandeau itself so either which way let's get started so just measure it out you know as you can see it's gonna be a little bit too long so I'm gonna try my best to kind of match it along as much as I can all right so to me I feel like this is good because it actually covers this right here so what you want to do is once you actually get it to the level or the length that you want it at and it's comfortable to you you are going to and I'm gonna start over because that's what I kind of did I just wrapped it or I placed it against the end of the handle just like that so I placed it and then I kind of like wrapped it around like this all right so what you want to do is you want to take the rest of the bandeau and then just wrap it around the handle loop it underneath and wrap it so what you're gonna do is you are going to tie a knot in the bandeau like so and I'm very particular when it comes to this part and the reason why is because I want it to be as tight as possible so you can kind of loop it underneath if you want to some people like to loop it over so right now I'm looping it underneath and pull it up okay so before you tighten it though you want to make sure you still have it at the length that you want it so what you want to do is actually just hold that excess as tight as you possibly can against the handle and then just pull just pull as hard as you possibly can and if you pull and you continue to pull you'll see that it'll just be a little bit tight and that's actually what you want so while it's just sitting there you can adjust it to make it look as nice as you possibly can all right so now that you have it really really tight and you've adjusted it to where you want it to how you want it to sit now we are going to start to wrap you want to wrap that knot all right so you're just going to keep going underneath the handle but so that way you don't see the knot you want to wrap the excess around that knot so you don't see it and that's where you want to start to start wrapping the bandeau just like that you guys can see that but I'm gonna leave a little bit of slack with my finger so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that slack and I'm gonna stick it right in there if you guys are able to see and you can see the little end sticking out right there so then what you want to do is you want to continue like my finger I don't know if you can see on the other side but it's pushing down still some more of the excess of this right here and before I get it a little bit tighter I want it to match on the other side as far as like the same colors instead of matching like with that so
pull that slack as much as you can, as tight as you can. That way you don't have any of the bandeau slipping and coming undone. So, there you go. Pretty tight. You can see my knot there. Um, you can see a little semi knot right there, but that's okay. But like I said, I have a little bit of slack on both ends. Both of the handles at the bottom are covered. And you can just play with it a little bit, you guys, because like I said, it's gonna take some time for you to actually perfect this because it took me some time. So like I said, once you do that, you can see it just wrapped around there. And you can see how it looks. All right, and there you have it. All right, you guys, there you have it. Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully you guys are able to just slow it down a little bit, take your time. And like I said, you guys, you just have to continue to just play with the handles, play with the um, bandeau and just go from there. So hopefully you got a chance to really learn how to um, tie a bandeau tuli around your straps all right so if you have any questions comments whatsoever just leave them below all right um i'm gonna try to work on you know tying a bow for you guys because i know how to do that also but that one does does give me like a little bit of hard time because i i mean i know how to do it but you know that's gonna be like a 40 minute video for you guys <laughs> not even lying but it's fun i like it and it's cute but like i said that is how you tie a bandeau on your um handles and if you guys have any questions like i said just leave the comments below tell me how you like the video um tell me if you enjoyed this little how to because i know like i said it was highly requested because a lot of you definitely want to cover your um handles and i want to help you do that because i literally if i can i'm going to cover my handles to protect um the handles itself and preserve the back so Hope that helped. Hope you liked the video. If you did, thumbs up. All right? Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Like, comment, and share, of course. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. All right? Bye. Bye.